Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capace channel in Malaysia. On the channel today, I'm checking out Mamra the Mummy from Series 2 of the vintage Thundercats toys released by LJN in 1986. This is Mamra in his depowered, non monstrous form, but possibly no less deadly here. This version of Mamra is a bit special as it was never released on its own individual card. One of the only ways you could get it back then was as a mail-away exclusive. So kids had to collect all of the proof of purchase tokens on the back of the card bags for the Series 2 figures, mail them in together with a payment for postage, and they would eventually receive Mamra in the mail. Sometime after, he would also be released as a pack-in figure together with the Mamra Tomb Fortress playset. Either way, you could not get him through conventional means. But did you need him for your collection? Well, this was one of those early examples of a toy exclusive, one which will have greater meaning to adult collectors decades later in their 30s and 40s. The face cup is decent, even though it's not quite Mamra from the cartoon. There is a neck joint here that allows some movement from side to side, even with the heavy plastic hood that he has on. The only other articulation the figure comes with are the cut joints on both shoulders that allow you to raise them up as though he's advancing towards you for attack. <laughs> there is also some sculpted detail in the plastic robe that runs along the sides of his arms and also on his exposed hands which have a very decayed look to them. Also, on the exposed middle section of his body, you get some very thick and harsh sculpting of his bandages just layered on top of each other. Yeah, there's just absolutely no mistaking this for being anything other than a mummified monster. No articulation at all below the waist. His feet just end in hard slaps. At the bottom base of his feet, you get the manufacturing info, 1985 Telepix, Ted Wolf, LJN toys made in Hong Kong. And there's something interesting here in that there's numbering on each of these two sections. As you can see, there's a number one and a number two. I suppose these are the indicators for the factory to assemble the figure. Because when you look at it, the main body is really just two separate slabs glued together. On the back of the figure, you get more acres of red robes and it's all just one solid piece as expected. You know, back in the day, it was somewhat normal for robed figures to just be done this way, and they mostly all ended with a thick slab of unposable plastic where their feet are supposed to be. This version of Mamra comes with one single accessory, his Doom Staff. Okay, this is the only place that you can actually get this weapon. At the tip of the staff is a creature head with horns, something that looks suitably menacing, something that you would expect Mamra to be walking around with. Now the Doom Staff is sculpted in a way that it looks very uneven. It's not a straight stick weapon of any kind, but once you place it in Mamra's hands, and by the way, it only fits into his right hand, okay? Now once you get it in there, Mamra looks suitably nefarious, all right? But either way, you can see why they decided not to release this as an individual figure on its own because it's just not a fun toy, all right? It's not even a toy, okay? It's just an ornament, all right? A display piece. And what kids really wanted back in the day was the mega monstrous Mamra, okay? The Mamra that was powered up, all right? Into this massive beast, all right? That's what they wanted, okay? Here he is alongside the LJN Toys Wave 1 Mamra figure. And also alongside the Lino figure, you can see how the figures scale up. The mummified Mamra is about 4 inches in height. So they actually took some effort in getting the scale of everything just correct. Guys, I want to know your thoughts on this exclusive mail-away Mamra figure from back in the day. Did you guys get it? What did you think of it? Okay, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. And I'll catch all of you again real soon with more content right here. Take care out there.